What's up guys, welcome to the Detailing Workshop. So in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about different methods of polishing. Now I had the chance to meet a ton of vendors and trainers at the Creator Summit in Chicago. Now after talking to various people who have been in the detailing industry for a long time and they are experienced trainers, they know how to handle a polisher, talking to a variety of them, it really started to dawn on me that, and I've said this before in other videos and I kind of came to this realization already, but this kind of solidified it, that there are different methods of polishing depending on your preference, depending on your findings, and here's the proof. After talking with guys like Ivan LaCroix and Jason Rose and a bunch of other guys, they each have different methods and different experiences when it comes to polishing and pads and techniques and methods and product, but they're getting the results that they want, either for their customers or just for their own standards. So when it comes to polishing technique, you're going to see different detailers, especially here on YouTube, because that's where people are trying to learn and they're watching different people and trying to see what works for them, what doesn't. And that's how I learned. I basically watched and then practiced and then I adapted kind of my own style. And it's basically um, additions from all sorts of different detailers kind of morphed into one my own. Now, you may see in certain videos, either in ours or in other guys, hand movements and speed and pressure and all these different things. We're all working with sometimes different machines, different pads, different products, different paint systems, different clientele. You're trying to decide, am I supposed to go faster or slower? Am I supposed to put more pressure or less pressure? What product or what pad am I supposed to use? It does get confusing and I totally understand it. I was there. However, the simple answer to that is you're going to have to practice. You're going to have to figure it out for yourself. There's no magic combo. There's no magic technique or method that's going to get you the results every single time. This type of work, polishing paint, is finicky. It's always adapting, it's always changing because of the different paint systems, because of the different locale where you are demographically in the world, humidity and heat play a big role in that. And all the different products and pads that are out there, the different machines, even though they're all 15 millimeter, they're gonna have different wattage, slightly different power, different spin. And you, as a person, your putting pressure and your angles and all of that are also going to vary so much. The variables are just so numerous that if you try to wrap your mind around it, it's like trying to figure out physics. It's, it's so, so difficult, but it doesn't have to be. Basically start with something simple, simple compounds, simple polish. You can even buy it locally. Not a big deal. Simple pads, flat pads, start with those. And if you want to venture off into waffle weaves or other pads, completely, you know, up to you, you'll find your niche eventually. You, you'll get a feel for it. You'll see what it's doing. Pressure makes a big difference too. Light pressure, no pressure, letting the machine and the pad and the product do the work, and also arm speed. You may see in my video, sometimes my arm speed is a little faster than most guys. Is that wrong? No, of course it's not wrong. It's, it's my own style, it's my own way of polishing. I don't mind doing multiple applications or polishing cycles, short polishing cycles. I don't do long polishing cycles. One or two passes, maybe one slightly slower if I need to, and, and that's it. If I need to do it again, I'll clean the pad, put more product and do it again. Is it slowing me down? Is it wasting time? Not for me, I still get the jobs done quickly, faster than other detailers. Don't focus on that, it's not a big deal. We have a certain time schedule that we're you know, looking at and we're not so worried about that. Once we dial in a process with a combo that's working for us, we fly through the vehicle pretty quickly and we don't have to sit there for many, many minutes doing slow arm passes and all this pressure to get the results that we need. Some paint needs it and some paint doesn't. Most paint doesn't need that much time in pressure and slow arm speed. It's all up to what you're working on. I hope that kind of helps you to think through it. Understand that there's so many different variables. There's no one set rule or standard when it comes to polishing paint because things are always changing and, and evolving when it comes to the detailing world and the automotive world, you're simply gonna have to practice. Look at all the different other detailers out there, take little notes and, and you know tips from each of them, and then practice, 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 and you will get it, it will click. It took a while for me, but eventually it just becomes muscle memory. You'll understand 
what the polisher is doing, what the pad is doing. You'll be able to see with lights and see through the polish and what it's doing. After a few passes, you wipe it, it looks clear. If it's still a little, you know, hazy or got a little few more swirls or whatever, you attack it again. You're just going to have to adapt in practice. So I hope that was helpful, guys. If you have any other questions or other tips for other detailers, then comment down below. What's your method that works for you? Don't criticize other detailers because criticism like that doesn't make sense if you're not here in the moment. It's kind of useless. Don't waste your breath on that. Just share what works for you and maybe the reasons why. And then other details can pick that up and try it for themselves and say, hey, that worked. Or no, it really didn't work for me. I've done that plenty of times. Even following some of the methods that Larry Casella from Ammo would do back in the day, some of those methods don't really work anymore because things have changed. Pads have changed a little bit. The polishes and compounds have changed a little bit and the paint systems have changed. So I take tips from everybody and kind of adapt and change as I need, as the industry changes and kind of morphs. You got to keep up with it. So definitely check out some of the older videos that we have and other detailers and some of the newer stuff. Combine all that knowledge and adapt and practice. All right, I got to finish this thing up. Thank you.